Hi, my name is Graham, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about getting started in astronomy and why you should consider getting the Celestron First Scope as, well, your first telescope. Roll intro. First thing I want to say is that this telescope is your most affordable telescope that you should ever consider buying. I realize that there are department store telescopes available, but generally those are longer tube, long tubes with very small optics in it, and from a visual perspective, don't give you the greatest performance. Whereas this is an actual proper Dobsonian telescope. Yes, it is on the tiny side, and I know some people have some reservations on it, but this. But if you're looking at getting a gift, this is a nice size telescope you can give somebody to try out doing astronomy. Or if you're thinking of doing astronomy yourself, get this, try it out, see how you enjoy doing the actual act of astronomy before you go out and consider getting something bigger that often costs several hundred dollars and is going to take up a lot of space in your apartment room, etc. This guy here can fit easily on a shelf. Not my shelves, I already have them full of really cool stuff. Product placement! So before we get too much further in this video, I wanted to mention that I did ask High Point Scientific to send me the scope. They were kind enough to send it to me for a month to make this video and a few others that are on my channel. I went and used it to take a solar eclipse photo. I don't think that's what they planned on for it, but I did actually end up using a filter, so I obviously don't just point this at the sun. There's a tag somewhere I have about don't point this at the sun. But yeah, don't point this at the sun unless you have a proper filter. And definitely don't go and make your own filter at home because chances are if you're looking at the scope, this might look easy, but you screw it up, you could lose eyeballs. But I digress. So overall, it's a nice little Dobsonian mount. It basically functions like this, where you rotate it on the azimuth, and then you can have it where you change the altitude. And overall, that's it. Pointed at the target, you will have to slowly reposition it over time, but when you're looking at objects in the sky, it shouldn't be too hard. You'll be able to look at most objects for quite a bit of time before they move out of frame, and then all you need to do is make a slight adjustment, and you're still good to go. This little scope is great for seeing the moon, the sun with a filter, planets, and even some bright deep sky objects such as the Andromeda Galaxy, Orion's Nebula, and various star clusters, both open and close. And that honestly is enough to get you started. It does come with two eyepieces. The first one here I have is a 20 millimeter uh, eyepiece, and it's a, a healer uh, eyepiece. It's not the greatest eyepiece in the world, and it does also come with a four millimeter one for high magnification. Now, if you do want to spend a little bit of extra money, you can get the accessory pack. It comes with a finder scope, two extra eyepieces that 12.5 and six millimeters. And it also comes with a moon filter, which is great when because the moon is actually quite bright through the telescope and also a nylon carrying bag, which if I open, ooh which can fit the telescope and it also has a little pocket on the side for your eyepieces. Now you can install the finder scope on the side of the telescope pretty easily. Obviously you probably want to do this two-handed and on a table, but there you go. Using these two screws and it does come with these little nuts to hold it, little thumbnail, thumb, thumb screws. And there we go. Looking at objects near the horizon, you can definitely use the finder scope to find them. However, as I found that as you move more to the zenith, basically looking straight up, it becomes a little bit harder and harder to get your head in place. And these are the four eyepieces that you can get, these two with the actual telescope and these two with the accessory kit. So there is one thing I don't like about the first scope, and that is the eyepieces that come with it. And this is why I would say, even though this is a sponsored video by High Point Scientific, and they sent me the scope and the accessory pack 
at no cost is that these eyepieces are not great. Like they're usable and I was able to use them, but starting off, I think somebody would be very, very frustrated with them. And the problem with them is that they have very small apertures, like circles, and they don't give you a really good field of view when you're trying to look through the telescope. And even though this is a sponsored video, I would not suggest getting the accessory pack because the eyepieces in this are actually not terribly great quality either. For $25, it's a nice thing to have, but I would highly recommend that you look at spending about $30, yes, an extra $5, and go out and buy yourself a nice Palossal eyepiece. Somewhere around 17, 20, 24 millimeters to replace this guy right here. And the eyepieces really hold back the first scope from getting its full potential. Now, I did go out a second night and use the first scope with my own eyepieces. Now, this guy here is several hundred dollars, so it's not really a great combination that somebody would consider, but I do know from experience that if you go out and get a 30 or $40 Palossal lens or Super Palossal lens, that you can get a decent quality out of it compared to this. And the big advantage is that it actually has a much bigger outer aperture and it's a lot easier to use, especially if you're using glasses because you wanna look up at the sky and then look down through the scope um, without having to take your glasses on, off, on, off, on, off. If you are interested in buying the Celestron First Scope, it is available at High Point Scientific. They actually have quite a few in stock and I will have affiliated links below. I'll also put a link to some IP suggestions that I think will be a good match in price and capability to go with this guy. And as I said before, I will put a link to the accessory pack, but I don't recommend it. Simply getting a better eyepiece is gonna allow you to find targets in the night sky a lot easier than I think this finder scope will do. So finally, I wanna again thank High Point Scientific for sending me this telescope and sponsoring this video. And to you for watching all the way to the end, I'm gonna wish you clear skies. And if you have any questions, comments, etc., or if there's a telescope or something you want me to try out, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can make happen.